Hey, it's Mr. Estrada here. In this video, we are just going to do a brief review on adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing fractions. Okay, so as a warm-up, I want you to reduce the fraction below fully. All right, so we got 6 over 10, or 6 tenths here, as it can also be called. And essentially, you can reduce a fraction by dividing the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor. So think about it. What's the greatest common factor of 6 and 10? Well, that's 2. 2 is the greatest common factor of 6 and 10. 2 goes into 6 3 times. And 2 goes into 10 5 times. So the fraction reduces to 3 fifths. Now there is a way to do this on the TI-83 graphing calculator. And let me show you how to do that. Okay, so originally we had 6 tenths. So we're going to write that as 6 divided by 10. You're going to press math. Click on fraction. Hit enter and it gives you the reduced form of the fraction, which is 3 fifths, which is what we got before with our greatest common factor method. Okay? All right. So for our first example, perform the indicated operation and reduce fully. So here we are adding two fractions, 8 fifteenths and 1 ninth. So to add fractions, you need a common denominator. You must have a common denominator. What that means is that the number here and here must be the same. You must have the same denominator in order to add fractions and also subtract. But in this case, we're adding. So how do you get a common denominator? Well, you have to find a number that 15 in this case 15 and 9 go into it's always the easiest thing to do is to just take this number here and multiply that by this number so we'll do that and multiply 15 by by 9 the denominator here by 9 now you must do the same thing on the numerator in order to preserve the equality of the fraction and then to get a common denominator we'll take this number here and we're going to multiply it by this number here so we'll multiply that by 15 and we have to do the same thing on the numerator to preserve the equality of the fraction. So that's what we do to find a common denominator. Alright, now you just multiply across, and, and here's what I mean by that. You're going to multiply, you know, 15 by 9, 8 by 9, 1 by 15, 9 by 15. So you get 72 over 135, and you get 15 over 135. So you see that? You have the same denominator. Same denominator. And that's what you need. That's the requirement to add or subtract fractions. Alright, now you just add the numerators. So it's going to be 72 plus 15 that gives you 87 whoops gives you 87 over 135 you're not gonna add the denominators the denominators just gonna stay okay finally you reduce if necessary so let's use our calculator for that so that's gonna be 87 divided by 135 click on math hit enter on fraction, hit enter again, it reduces to 29 over 145.
example to perform the indicated operation and reduce fully so we're subtracting fractions here again you need a common denominator so you know of course you could do what I did in the previous example you could multiply this by 20 and this by 20 and then you can multiply this by 16 and this by 16 so you could get a common denominator but if you do that you're gonna get a really big number so I don't want to go that route essentially you're just trying to find the number that 16 and 20 go into that's what you're trying to find well what's the number that 16 and 20 go into 80 so to get 16 to multiply to 80 I have to multiply it by 5 and I gotta do the same thing on top to preserve the equality of the fraction to get 20 to multiply to 80 I have to multiply it by 4 and I do the same thing on the top so what do I get well 3 times 5 is 15 so you get 15 over 80 3 times 4 is 12 so you get 12 over 80 subtract the numerators so it's gonna be 15 minus 12 you get 3 so it's 3 over 80 you don't subtract the denominators you just leave them you reduce if necessary but 3 over 80 is already in reduced form so there's no need to reduce it example 3 perform the indicated operation and reduce fully so here we are multiplying when you multiply fractions you multiply across times times top top times top excuse me and bottom times bottom so you are multiplying this way that's how you multiply fractions you're not cross multiplying here cross multiplying is for when you have an equal sign in between the fractions so you're multiplying across top times top bottom times bottom so 3 times 3 is 9 16 times 20 is 320 reduce if necessary but this is already in simplest form example 4 perform the indicated operation and reduce fully 5 eighths divided by 1 third so we got 5 eighths divided by 1 third here so I'm just gonna rewrite that like this So you know this is another way of saying of what of what we have here it's another way of saying this okay so how do you divide fractions so essentially what you want to do is flip the fraction you divide by and change the operation to multiplication so you want to flip this fraction right here and you want to change the operation to multiplication so it's going to be 5 eighths times 3 over 1 and now it's a multiplication problem so you multiply across top times top bottom times bottom 5 times 3 is 15 8 times 1 is 8 so you get 15 over 8 reduce if necessary but 15 over 8 is already in simplest form. Alright, I hope this video helps. Have a great rest of your day.